Hi, this is a beginner's tutorial that will teach you how to create an inflate modifier inside the new geometry nodes in Blender 3. So first let's start about talking about the theory behind what we are about to do. The first concept that's important to understand is position. So a, a vertex position is always relative to its origin. So the coordinates that are registered by the geometry nodes are the x, y and z distance that the position is located at from the origin. And it will generate this vector that goes from the origin to position. When we want to create an inflate, we'll want to dislocate all the vertexes along the normal vector. Normal vector is the direction in which each vertex is facing outwards. And the normal vector has got this very specific characteristic that it has a length of one unit. This will be very handy to manipulate later. So our idea is just to do a, a math uh, addition of the position vector by the normal vector, which will dislocate it along its normal, in this case by one unit of distance, and creating the new surface if you apply it to each vertex. So let's start by first deleting the, the cube, the default cube, and adding another mesh, which would be a torus, which I think will exemplify well the inflate action. To start creating geometry nodes, you need to go first to the geometry nodes area. Let's just zoom this in a bit. And to start creating any new uh, geometry nodes, you'll have to press new, and which will give you an input group and an output group for the geometry. And we are going first to add the two inputs, the position and the normal, which geometry nodes will know, which are the positions for each of the geometry vertexes and also the, the normal for each of the vertexes. In order to be able to change their position, we'll have to use another node, which is within the geometry and which is set position. Let's place it between the two input and output nodes so that it will connect automatically. And as you can see, there is a, a position uh, input to which we will con connect to the existing position. If you connect it now, nothing will happen because the position is the same. But we are going to we are going to to change it. So, uh, as we mentioned in the theory behind this, we are going to add the position vector to the normal vector. And to do this, we have to use another node, which is the within the, the vector operations, which is vector math. Let's add it here. In vector math, we already have by default the add operation. So we'll put the position vector into the node and the normal vector into the node. As I had mentioned, the normal by default has got a, a, a unit of one, a, ve a vector of one. So when we add this vector with one of length to the position, we will extrude the surface by one unit. If you see here, the, the grid has got a one unit distance, so when we add the two, you see this inflate. And this inflate is exactly one unit. Since we, we are doing a modifier, we don't want it to inflate only by one unit, we want to have the flexibility of using whatever value we want. So we have to like multiply the value of the normal which is handy because it's one unit and the value by which you multiply the uh, to the door that you multiply to the normal will result in the actual distance so if you multiply 0 0.5 by 1 the result will be 0 0.5 so the actual distance by which the value will be translated will be 0 0.5 if you multiply by 2 it will go twice the distance it will it will have the result of two units. 
So let's add another vector math node. We can put it in here so that we have an input from the normal. But this time, instead of the add operation, we want to multiply the vector by a value. We could use the multiply, uh, uh, we use multiply operation, in which you'd have to multiply a vector by another vector, but the handiest option would be scale, in which you can actually multiply a vector by a single value, which is a scale, this is a scale operation. So now if you slide the scale, we are multiplying, in this case, 0 0.3 by the normal, and the actual, the actual distance that the, the vertexes were dislocated was 0 0.3. The value, of course, can also go negative, and it will shrink the surface. So this is the, the basic of the, of the inflate uh, modifier, but it can, if you want to use it outside geometry nodes, it would be very handy to be able to, to manipulate this scale value uh, uh, outside. So how can we do this? You see that the geometry nodes show up as a modifier. If we go here to the, to the group input, you'll see that there is a bullet here in which, to which you can connect values which are inputs. If you connect the, the scale value to this bullet, now you see that this value is exposed. You no longer control it inside the geometry nodes, but the value that you insert here will, will, will be inserted into the geometry node sequence and be executed. Now, if you move it here, you slide the value, you'll have control over the, over the scale of the object. And uh, this, is, this is very, very handy because you can simply apply this same structure to other objects. So if we add another object, let's say a cone, let's translate it to another place, and we also give it a, a new geometry node. You go and pick the geometry nodes we had already created. And if you scale it, you also have the same script applied to the, to the cone in which you have this exposed variable, which is completely independent from the one on the torus. So you can create as many objects as, as you want and just use the same script on all of them. So this is the basic of creating the inflate modifier.